So in this project, I'm going to create a set of plans to show a crosswalk. And I'm going to go through the, the whole steps. The first thing I want to do is create a brand new drawing. And I can do that from the Start tab by creating a new drawing or using the, the default one. Or I can use the drop down here and select the template that I'd want to use. In this case, I'm going to use the Civil 3D template for NCS, but you could use um, a particular one that's set up for you. Once the new drawing is created, I want to save it. And you can either save it by using the Quick Access Toolbar, which is the bar at the top of the screen, and hit the Save icon and give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Montalban Street Crosswalk and hit Save. You can also press Control S, which will also save it. Now that I have the drawing, I want to set the coordinate system. This way, if I bring in GIS data, it'll know where my drawing is located at. To do that, I'm going to open up Toolspace, then go to the Settings tab, right-click on the name of the file, and choose Edit Drawing Settings. The Units and Zone tab allow me to set the coordinate system. To help filter them, I can use the drop-down for Categories and select USA California, where my project's located at, and then select the appropriate zone. In this case, it's Zone 5 and U.S. Foot, and I'm going to use California State Plains. And then I can hit OK. And now my coordinate system is set. So to help leverage this, I'm going to try to find out where my project is located at. And to do that, I'm going to use the Geolocation tab and turn on the map functionality. You may have to log in to your Autodesk account, but once you choose like Map Aerial, it should give you a prompt if you aren't already logged in. I can then do ZE for zoom extents, and it won't do very much, but I can zoom out. And what I'm looking for is the map to show up. And once the map shows up, I can go and zoom in to where my project's located at, which is in San Luis Obispo. Which should be somewhere around here. So my project is located around here. I'm just going to draw a circle just to help me figure out where my project is later on. And to draw a circle, you can simply press C at the command line and press Enter, and then follow the prompts. In this case, it asks me for a center point and then a radius. You can either type in a radius value or use the map, mouse to select your circle radius. You can also find commands on the Home tab for the Draw panel, and in the middle is Circle, and you can choose how the circle is built. It's up to you if you want to use the command line or one of the buttons. So if I zoom in a little bit, I can see that the Bing Map Geometry or Imagery isn't very accurate. It's kind of clunky, and I'd probably want to use something a little more accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the aerial map. And it's off, and the circle allows me to know where my project's at. So you can either go and download various data sets from Earth Explorer, um, or you can use an internal GIS connection like ArcGIS to connect to the data and then bring it into Civil 3D. In this case, I'm going to use the data that I've downloaded and connect it to this drawing. To make the connection, I'm going to change my workspace from Civil 3D to Planning and Analysis. And Planning and Analysis is Map 3D. On the Home tab of the Planning and Analysis workspace is the Connect button. And this will allow me to connect to data. 
if I had an ArcGIS connection, I could use the top one and connect to a database there. In this case, I'm going to use an add raster image or surface connection data. I can pick either a folder of data or an individual file. In this case, I'm going to pick an individual file. So the county of San Luis Obispo went out and they did aerial photos and it's come into the public domain and it's available through that map explorer data. So I'm going to go ahead and select the TIFF file, press open, and then press connect. That's going to show me that it's been selected and then I can press add to map. And then that's going to analyze the TIFF file and display it in the drawing. I put the circle in there so I could see where my project is and so I can zoom in a little bit and I can see that the imagery is better than the Bing imagery. At this point, I want to switch back to the Civil 3D workspace. And I'm going to go ahead and close tool space and some of these toolbars. <clears throat> 